Hey everybody, I'm Scott Moore, owner, pitmaster, co-founder of Tejas Chocolate and Barbecue in Tomball, Texas. We're here in Old Town, out in front of the uh, oldest building in Tomball, originally built in 1907. It was a private residence up until the time that we got a hold of it and turned it into a barbecue joint. So I want to take a minute to show you around the place, show you the pit room, and uh, just give you a little tour. So let's get this off of me and on to something more interesting. So here's the front. We call it the building, the craftery. We like to sell craft beer, craft barbecue, and of course, craft chocolate, where we got our start. So, welcome. That's what that sign says, because you are welcome. So here you come walking in here to the main room, and you immediately are confronted with a chocolate display where our chocolate truffles are staring at you while you wait in line to order barbecue. So you can take a right turn, order barbecue, or take a left turn, get some chocolate, some merch, all that kind of stuff. Um, we're gonna display, we got some meats available, sides available for grab and go, take home for the weekend, that kind of deal. So then we, there's our drink station, come into the, the biggest room, in the building, our dining room, I like to call it Carnivores Hall. Um, kind of a cool fun fact, these chairs, these old barrel chairs, um, we got out of the uh, men's locker room at Champions Golf Club when they renovated and upgraded their, updated their furniture. So I ended up with all these really cool old chairs that are quite comfy. Um, this we call the Harry Potter closet. It's nothing but a utility closet, but you know, we don't really talk about the things that might happen in here back in 1907. So we all know this building's got a lot of history. Here's a staircase that goes up to our office. It's uh, not to any building code whatsoever. Safety is a concern when you go up that, so we advise that you don't. We need to keep that chained around. Um, here's our condiment station and pickup area for the, when you order, you get the food picked up here, you get the condiments here, get your forks and knives, all that kind of stuff. Another small room we have for dining, we call it the white room. And it's uh, being transformed a little bit now into a room where we're going to display our banners from various festivals that we do. But um, prior to 2017, we did all the chocolate work in this room and then we needed more seating and uh, needed a bigger space to do chocolate, which we'll look at in a little bit. Here was the first uh, article written about our company back when we were just doing chocolate in the early days. How about that? I needed a haircut. All right, this room here was actually Mr. Hoffman, his study, um, back when he was a resident. So pretty cool paneling in here. And then you could used to be able to look in there and see the chocolate production. This door goes out to our side patio. We got a lot of outdoor seating here that's covered and uncovered. So pretty comfortable spot to get. Um, I like it out here when it's raining because it's really loud. Um, pretty neat. A couple things that you'll see around the joint that are kind of fun and cool. Are, uh, we These old logs that look like feet. This one here looks like a Sasquatch and somebody, one of our customers took it and put a, put a sandal on it. So kind of funny and a uh, little decoration. Um, here's the Black October, the original pit, the one that started it all. Um, an offset smoker, 500 gallon uh, horizontal, 250 gallon vertical, where we used to do it all back in the day. This is my original cocoa bean roaster and uh, it just hangs out here and looks cool. I built this myself, and um, I mean, it's um, found these old bricks, pretty cool. Been around. Um, now we roast cocoa beans under here. It looks like a hog roaster when those are going. That rotisserie is turning over open flame, and uh, it smells like your bacon brownies back here when we're doing that. So then we go back here to the pit room where the dude hangs out. This was the first Moberg that we bought uh, back in 2017. And uh, we dropped it in here and put a roof over its head. Dude does the heavy lifting during the day for lunch. And um, he's just a 
Oh, just a wonderful, wonderful smoker. Uh, couldn't be more pleased with that product. And then uh, as we got busier and needed more product, we, we got the space across the way from us and we built a little shed. And out here we have Walter and Donnie. That's my transportation into work these days. So I'm living close to the restaurant, which is pretty nice. So Emil Carr's out here doing his thing with Walter and Donnie. How you doing, Emil Carr? Hey, sir. Everything going good? Good, yes, sir. Yep, there's Walter. And uh, twin 1,000 gallon Moberg smokers. And uh, there are most days these days we got all of them going because we have the production space for it. Um, over here is where we store the food truck when it's uh, not out on site doing a catering gig or a festival or a, a pop up or whatever that is. So that um, food truck there we named Roy. There's a long story to that that um, maybe one day I'll share on a separate video. Uh, so this is just a little alley behind the building. Over here behind this wall is where Ethel hangs out these days. When she's not out at the festivals, Ethel's hanging out here. So we're gonna walk through, we're gonna go back through the space where we're due it is and um, go into our commissary kitchen because now we're in all these buildings. That white building is where chocolate's being done. This pink building is where some storage is and in the front or in the middle section is the commissary kitchen. And then, um, then uh, at the very front is where we have a lot of meats for sale. Um, we call it our to-go market and uh, catering orders are picked up there. So we'll sneak up here behind and go into the back door of the kitchen. Um, we call it upstairs, even though there's no stairs, there's just a ramp. It's kind of one of those perfect things. So here we are getting ready for the day. Um, we're about 30 minutes out from opening for service. So things are starting to get pretty hectic in here. Uh, it's a small little space, but very productive. And uh, we got a lot of great talent in this kitchen. You get a lot of great stuff done. So back down, back down the ramp. We're going downstairs now, even though there's no stairs, we call it downstairs. Because you walk in here, you still gotta go down. There's another ramp. So, so this is our, our commissary kitchen space. We walked in cooler, which was, my favorite piece of equipment uh, when we added that. I couldn't believe how we got by without that. And then uh, on the left side here is where sausage is being, will be made. All the meats are trimmed and all that kind of stuff. On the right side is both a commissary baking line and in a service line for a to-go market. So things are slowly waking up for the day here. Back here, we got briskets getting ready to be trimmed. Um, and then out this door here is where the front retail area is, where we have a little bit of seating, but mostly it's for to-go's and catering pickups, that kind of thing. And then we have meats for sale and sides for sale here, have some chocolate. So it's a, it's a way to get in and out of the Tejas land uh, efficiently without having to mess up a big line if, you know, if you're in a hurry or don't want to do all that. So. Anyway, that's catering to go central. So now we're gonna go over here. Like I said, this is our to go line. When it's when the online orders start coming in, the to go line gets busy. This is Martina. She's making 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 cornbread pudding. So it starts with cornbread. How about that? Um, and then over into this room is where the chocolate action happens. So this room, the atmosphere changes immediately when you walk in here. So. It's the happiest room in the building. They're making lots of chocolate truffles. Look at those. Honey lavender. That's Samantha. That's Janie. That's Aaron. Happy rollers Emily. in here. Emily, excuse me. <laughs> Emily. I knew it was an E. Oh, it's how terrible. So here's uh, chocolate swirling. That's kind of fun to watch. You can just sit, put that on your screensaver, take a nice long nap. Um, so various, various stages of production here, um, truffles that are waiting to be coated and dressed up. This is um, one of our favorite trays in the whole building. It's like the little rejects that get sampled out and tasted on. People are always trolling over here for these. So anyway, that's chocolate production world here. And uh, 
These, this might look a little bit like a liquor cabinet, but it's actually a chocolate ingredient shelf, believe it or not. Yeah, we like to make some booty trouble, so. Back out we go to the alley and you'll kind of start to get the sense of the whole compound. Here's Roy, remember where Ethel was? That's the Tejas alleyway, I like to call it. So there you have it, that's the Tejas chocolate barbecue. So here's dude in action here. We got a pan of pork came off. Jorge's working the pits this morning. We got briskets that are loaded up. Those are for tomorrow. Here's some kielbasa or house brine sausage getting ready for lunch service. And then back here we have our chili relleno sausage links getting ready for lunch service as well. So those are always fun to look at. And then the briskets pretty much about as far as you can see. Like I said, those are for tomorrow. So thanks for letting me show you around the place. I uh, hope you can get out and visit us sometime. Check it out. It's a cool old building, a cool area. Food's great. Chocolate's great. Um, we got a lot of beers on tap. 12 actually on, uh, I didn't show you that. Let me go up there and show you that real quick and then we'll just call it a day, okay? All right, hang on. Hang tight. So it's uh, Pastrami Thursday and the music's coming on. We like to play a little Rat Pack radio on Pastrami Thursday. Um, so yeah, we'll go back in here the side door. Um, they call your ticket, you're coming in this direction to get your food and you're gonna walk. And then like I said earlier, you're gonna pick it up over there and get your condiments, that sort of thing. Um, you're coming from this spot here, and uh, that's the ordering counter in front, back in the kitchen. And like I said, we got a margarita machine back there, and we got 12 local beers on tap. Um, so there's the menu, kitchen, and that'll do it, folks. Appreciate y'all.